now that we've reviewed basic long division, we'll follow the same pattern as long division when working with polynomials. On the division step, focus only on the front terms. Front or leading terms. This is the first step. When we see a problem, as in example one, we're going to go ahead and write this as a polynomial long division problem right from the start. Where the numerator is the dividend, and the denominator is the divisor. Over on, on the side is going to be my scratch paper, and I'm going to figure out what I'll need to put in my quotient in this box. I take the first term in my dividend and divide it by the first term in my divisor to get x squared. This is what I put in my quotient. Now I take that term and I multiply it to each term in the quotient, or sorry, in the divisor. I take this, multiply it to x, and I get x to the third. x squared times 4 is 4x squared. I can now change the signs of both terms and find their difference. In this case, x to the third minus x to the third is 0x to the third. It drops out. Negative 2x squared minus 4x squared is negative 6x squared. At this point, I can drop down the next term in my dividend. I take the first term in my dividend divide it by the first term in my divisor to get what I put in my quotient. I put that in my quotient, and then I multiply it to each term in my divisor. Again, these will add to zero. Four times negative six is negative 24x, change the signs, and I get nine x, drop down the last term, plus thirty. Take the first term in my dividend, which is 9x, divide it by the first term in my divisor, which is x, and I get 9. I put that in my quotient once more, and I multiply that 9 to each term in my divisor. 4 times 9 is 36. Change the signs. and add down. 9x minus 9x is 0. 36 minus, sorry, 30 minus 36 is negative 6. My remainder is negative 6. In example two, we do the same process over again. Rewrite it as a long division problem.
with 2x minus 1 as the divisor, and 4x to the third minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 5 as the dividend. Now we take the first term in the dividend, which is 4x to the third, and divide it by the first term in the divisor. I'll do this on my scratch paper. This reduces to 2x squared. I put 2x squared in my quotient, and now I multiply it to each term in the divisor. 4x to the third. Negative 1 times 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Again, I change the signs and add them together. To get negative 4x squared, drop down the next term, take the first term in the dividend, and divide it by the first term of my divisor to get negative 4x, put it in my quotient, take that and multiply it to each term. Notice I made a mistake here, it should have been 2x, not just x. That will change things just a little bit. negative 2x, there we go, that makes things work way better. Negative 2x, multiply that over and we get negative 4x squared plus 2x. Change the signs, add them together, drop down the next term, take the first term of the dividend, divide it by the first term of the divisor, and we get 5. Put the 5 in the quotient, multiply, change the signs, and we get a zero remainder.